Head on down south of here now, all the way to Cheyenne, Wyoming, where Wyoming Liberty Group stands, and Bob Nelson has joined the group. Who, uh, Bob, I have an interesting thought before we get into this. Every time government needs to cut money anywhere, which they're reluctant to do, they always try to scare us with, we need to cut education, we need to cut police, we need to cut fire departments, instead of all the useless garbage that really needs to be cut. Are you actually saying in your latest article that we might actually need to cut some education? Well, the question is, where can you find enough cuts in the budget to offset the revenue shortfalls okay. that Wyoming is experiencing? Okay, now, but by cutting something of education, right away some parents out there just said, <gasps> so uh, what did you mean by cutting something in education? What, what would you cut in order to save the Wyoming budget? Well, we understand, of course, that uh, education is emotional to folks yeah. and that it's you know vital to people's well-being and the economy of Wyoming and so on and so forth. But to make the broad generalization that there is nothing that can be cut in in a you know one point eight billion dollar Wyoming budget uh, is, is a you know pretty heroic assumption. Okay, so would you go into what what, what grade levels or would you cut sports or you know maybe music, something like that? Well, I don't have a position on specific programs. I think okay. it's up to the education establishment and the legislature to determine what pieces of the programs are, are vital and indispensable. Uh, that's the way the Constitution has set it up. This is responsibility for defining education or proper education in Wyoming belongs to the legislature and the legislature, excuse me, relies on the education establishment. Okay. Can the case be made that the, over the years, the state of Wyoming, I, we, we are per student, I mean, one of the biggest spenders out there, could spend less and get the same result? Well, I believe that's true. There is uh, a number of academic research papers been done on that very subject, and, his, and actually empirical evidence as well. There are four states reported by a guy named Colson at the... Uh, Cato Institute, I believe, who reported that four states, Alaska, Florida, California, and New York, all had very substantial reductions in education funding over multiple number of years uh, as a result of things occurring in those states. And in spite of those cuts and reductions, they still saw no reduction in the achievement outcomes um, either immediately or after a period of time elapsed. So the case can be made that or there is actually no real correlation between the amount spent and the educational outcomes achieved. Yeah, I know I lived in North Carolina for a time, and they did what Wyoming is currently doing. They got a huge amount of money from the federal government, and they spent just a bunch of it on building schools, what they call smart boards, which are massive touchscreen instead of the old blackboards. Uh, and over uh, the years, they figured all of this spending on all of these new facilities, which were pretty impressive when you walked into one of these schools. I have to admit, it was really impressive inside. And yet when you took a look at the scores and the gradu graduation rate, nothing had changed. So obviously that wasn't the problem in the state of Wyoming. Now, I'm not against new buildings of technology, but, you know, again, they needed to find the real source of the problem. So now there has been, do you address this in your article over the past few years, a lot of school building going on in the state of Wyoming? Well, there has been. Um, school capital construction has, has been, uh, you know, kind of a budget buster. But just in terms of the general school finance budget for operations, um, Wyoming's own educational consultants, Otis and Pike, and, I'm sorry, Pikus Odin, who have been working with the legislature and, and school districts for oh, 11 years now um, and has been instrumental in structuring the system. In their last report, last fall, November, uh, they reported that in spite of Wyoming's spending on education having risen 62 percent over that time period, they report themselves that progress in scores has not kept pace. And I think that's a real understatement. Scores are essentially flat in Wyoming. That actually reflects, you know, a much bigger trend, longer-term trend that's nationwide. Um, there's a big report out 
uh, covers 40 years from 1970s up to about uh, 2014, which tracked uh, adjusted SAT scores and spending um, on education. In that report, uh, they show that inflation-adjusted costs nationwide have risen 180%. That's nearly tripled after inflation. And in spite of that, scores nationwide are flatlined. And it's not just nationwide. You can go through and look at almost any state, and you will see that same relationship. So there's just no correlation between outcomes and spending. Okay, I'm talking with Bob Nelson. He's with Wyoming Liberty Group, and it's a state which suddenly has experienced a slowdown and has to start looking at its budget here. And so one of the places to look at it, he's saying, is education. Now, here's the problem, Bob. We're in an election year, which means, now we we don't have a governor coming up, but that means a lot of your legislators are going to look at this as a third rail. While while it may make sense, hey, we're going to have to cut back or else, uh, they're going to be afraid to say it because to say you want to cut education spending during an election year, I mean, that's isn't that political suicide? It's true, and I sympathize for the circumstances in which they find themselves. But well, let's face it, you know, hard times call for tough folks. Wyoming folks like to claim that they're tough. But that, what are the alternatives when you face revenue shortfalls like we've got? You, you could do deficit spending. I don't know if anyone's really in favor of that. We've never seen it here. Uh, and the Wyoming Constitution arguably uh, prevents that. But who wants to go the direction of Detroit, Illinois, Puerto Rico, or Greece? You know, another alternative would be to raise taxes. Well, what are you going to raise them on? Are you going to raise them on individual people? Are you going to attract new businesses of the size and scope that energy has been in, the, in Wyoming and then tax them? That takes a lot of time, and frankly, the track record there hasn't been very good. So even if it can be done, it isn't going to take effect anytime soon. So thirdly, you're faced with some sort of spending cuts. So if you're going to save the kind of money that's necessary, given the budget circumstances we're in, you've again got to look at the big buckets of money. Education is one of them. Okay. $1.8 billion over the next two years. How much... Did you do an assessment on this? How much would the state of Wyoming have to cut out of education to make a, a decent difference? Well, I haven't done that kind of a calculation. LSO, um, bless their hearts, they do marvelous work in keeping track of this stuff and making projections and uh, estimates of the costs and so on and so forth, do a, a great job of telling us how far we're, we're falling short. Although, i got to admit, they were over-optimistic in their in their projections uh, this year, as they reported in April. Um, But just in big terms, Glenn, you know, you've got to save big chunks of money. You've got to, you can only find it where big chunks are being spent. Some of the things that I think of, and this again is going to be horrifying to some people, and the third rail of politics, but when I grew up in Florida, and being on the East Coast, well, when one sports team goes to play another sports team, you're talking right across town. I mean, quite literally, you drive just a few miles and you, one high school just is now playing another high school, literally just a few miles up the road. <clears throat> but that's the East Coast. There's that many people over there. Here in Wyoming, though, I mean, there's been times I'm over here in Gillette and I've seen buses from over in the Tetons. And I, really, they're coming all the way over here to play us in something. Boy, out of all the places to cut back, I know some people would hate to see sports cut back, but if you save those trips, you'd save a lot of money, I'd think. There's a lot of teams traveling around. Well, you might, and and certainly, you know, sports are near and dear to people's hearts in Wyoming. Yeah. But it, it, as you say, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense um, to see that sort of thing. And one thing that the Wyoming Constitution does call for is that our education system be efficient. It's not just you know, that we're going to provide proper education and a uniform education and it's going to be free and so forth. But there's also a mandate that it be efficient. And I would argue, without getting into any specifics, that there are efficiencies to be found in the system. Um, and, and that transportation may be one of them. Maybe there are ways to, to reorganize sports to where you can still have them but not have, have those kinds of 
yeah, I, transportation costs. I, I kind of wonder also, and I'm just thinking out loud, I don't have any numbers in front of me, about the size of the bureaucracy. Because usually there's a lot of people whose jobs you can cut out of bureaucracy. And frankly, they wouldn't even be missed. Nobody nobody even knows they're there. But they're getting nice big salaries. All right, Bob, you've been <laughs> writing about this for Wyoming Liberty Group. Where can people go and find your work? Well, whyliberty.org is our website mm -hmm. and a number of other sources. Uh, you can go to uh, edu.wyoming.gov, which is the Wyoming Department of Education. You can go to legisweb.state.y.us, which is LSO's website. They have a great state finance link. Okay. Hey, Bob, uh, good to meet you, and thanks for coming on the program. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No.